hello everyone today we will uh, we will be starting with the uh, mcat 2310 analysis a very good mock to be uh, uh, seen in the recent mcats this one is the uh, more equivalent to the cat level uh, so without wasting time we are starting first with the vrc as usual Again, this time uh, there was four passages, but uh, there is a slight change. Uh, that's very uh, uh, different thing. I liked it, and that is that some passages are of uh, three questions each, and some are of five to six questions each. So I believe two passages are, and uh, one uh, that are two passages of three three questions each, and the rest is VA. Uh, so, but uh, what I felt that uh, uh, the length of the passages, which has more questions, are similar to what we were getting in the uh, four question passages so that gives you advantages to uh, to chunk out or to get six questions attempted out of the uh, instead of the four questions right so the first passage revolves around the uh, uh, different types of sounds and how these sounds disturbs you and everything around that the questions were pretty simple or there were hardly any choices or any questions which has some close choices so four out of six could be gained here. Uh, I'm not saying that it is a it is a definite number. You can get three, four, two, anything, even six out of six also. Then there was a three question passage uh, that uh, is about how the language affects, and there was some questions on the cultures also. So there is a language passage. <clears throat> After that, there was uh, one very very small passage of the. Uh, three questions each uh, regarding the book and the uh, uh, the other audit the word uh, uh, suffix to the word and the uh, it is a combination of paradox and something else so oxymon something like this as as a oxymon so the question was not uh, uh, very dense in any passage and uh, given the fact we can't say that it is a very easy mcat people have been scoring lows and highs in this MCAT too. But yeah, uh, if you are if you are getting very good marks, you should uh, you should believe that you should believe that you are very doing very good job. Uh, your uh, uh, your ability to answer the VARC uh, is increasing or improving day by day. So then there was one passage about the sociological understanding. This is the passage where I had some pain. Because I couldn't able to understand what the passage actually trying to say. They provided with some examples and one another theory, one another example. So there was uh, many things and this is a sixth question and the questions were not uh, pretty uh, straightforward in this passage. When it comes to the VA, there was one, uh, there was mixed reactions that VA was not as easy as it looks at this time. Uh, uh, there was a difficulty in every type of questions. For example, in the para summary, there was some different things. In the PJs, there were different things. In the odd one out, there were some questions which were uh, which were not very easy. So, uh, so the cutoff is released now. But uh, if I if I go with my analysis, twenty two plus marks would be good here. Twenty two plus marks would be good here. No matter what the cutoff is, twenty two plus is the bare minimum. Bare minimum you should target out. So now let's uh, let's move to the DLR. Uh, this is the uh, this became the most disturbing section for the many this time. And uh, some people uh, who got very good marks are saying that uh, they are lucky enough to score good here. Uh, let's let's analyze what actually uh, the level was. So the first chat was <clears throat> uh, there was again the same pattern uh, six six and four four. So there was one, uh, no, uh, this time the pattern was different. There was one set of five questions that is of roots and networks. And uh, the set was not, uh, not to be honest, uh, uh, that difficult, that difficult. And uh, then we will move to the uh, four question set based on the averages, averages and the kids. Uh, that was a pretty easy set, I would say. Now then there was five questions set uh, that was again very pretty easy set uh, that is of arrangement of you have to make a eight digit phone numbers arrangement set and now five five uh, fourteen and then there was six question set that there, there was six question set 
and that set was related to uh, some card game, right? Some card game. Uh, this was uh, that set was related to this. So router network averages arrangements and cards, and you have to decide first that uh, with which set you are more familiar. So the order should be like this. Uh, first should be this. Obviously averages because average is something you just need calculator and uh, the basic knowledge and you are done with this set. The, the, the set was very, very, very easy and you should not miss this set at any cost. And then after that, you should, or you, according to your level, you could have, or at least you should try the arrangement set because uh, this is not a very, very, I would say, uh, large arrangement. Uh, there was just, two cases that are finally coming out but before that even if you start even if you put all the conditions they were uh, uh, start with you can start with the six different cases and at last you will be having just two cases so the so at max what i want to say is that even if you go with this that you just have to make six cases nothing more than that and you are good to go in the 10 to 12 minutes with this set now from the roots and networks and the card card one seems not very familiar, but the root to end networks uh, was uh, somewhat familiar to us, right? So we should go. We should go with the root end network first. And then if you have time, you can go for the card one. Or this could be interchangeably for few of you, but this should be the first and second choice for sure. So, <clears throat> I would say 25 plus marks here would be good enough or the bare minimum or the good enough. Now we will uh, move to the quant. We will move to the quant. Like what was the level? What was the level of the quant? So this time quant was at par with the cat. Uh, even if I say that there were some questions again on the algebra or something like that, but this time they have uh, quite ba uh, balanced the situations, but, uh, and there was no not uh, much variation though variation was there but there was not too much variation in the terms of the usual level of the mcats so this time the quant is different and uh, there was uh, some sitters there was some questions which was of moderate level but there were not many questions which are of very very difficult level and all the questions must be familiar with uh, uh, you must be familiar with all the questions so far uh, and uh, any attempt above 15 plus would be good here. Any attempt above 15 plus would be good here. Uh, as far as marks is concerned, as far as marks is concerned, uh, for the bare minimum, you should target 25 first here. 25 plus would be the bare minimum. So if I add all these threes and get an overall analysis of the section uh, of the uh, uh, this mock, uh, then there would be uh, 72 plus marks should be. Uh, at least what you must be getting overall and uh, this is a section wise breakup and obviously this this smoke uh, you can be set as a parameter or if you are getting a very good marks in this smoke then you must be happy and proud of your skills and not uh, uh, blame the mock of becoming uh, uh, too easy because the percentiles uh, reflect the other situations apart from that apart from that i would say that those who are not getting uh, good marks in the mocks or do those who have not scored or have scored drastically bad in this mock don't get low uh, don't get out of your confidence don't feel that uh, you are uh, uh, not doing very well this happens this must be happened to realize uh, where you stand to realize uh, on what areas you need to improve and uh, obviously after two to three mocks you will start uh, seeing those improvement in yourself so just i would uh, i would say one word that believe in yourself believe in yourself that is the key that is the key right and if you are if you are if you are attempting these mocks that means you are among 11000 serious candidates so the, the rest 190000 candidates are not serious at all about the cat so you should be confident you should be proud of yourself that you are among the 11k and you are still in the race and uh, till the cat you if you if you keep running in the race, you would be at a good situation and for sure you would be at a higher percentile than you are getting in the mocks because these mocks are testing you at different parameters. The cat, uh, the cat is made by keeping the two black audience in the mind and according to that percentiles come. But in the mock, there are just 11,000 candidates. 
and many of those are toppers or the top scorers so you are competing with them but when you are in cat you are competing with the other two lakh people who are not even at all serious so obviously you would perform better on that d day so don't be tense about that be happy and keep learning thank you